Hi, I'm Sharad from Sharad the Geek and welcome to another Explain video. So, through this video, I will tell some of the Adobe products. Well, last year I made a video on Adobe products also, but that includes a CS6 variant. CS6 is actually a creative suit lineup by Adobe. Now, in this video, we will tell some of the apps that are new to Adobe lineup that is present in Adobe CC. CC, the full form of CC is called as Creative Cloud. Well, I told about Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, eh, that popular apps in the part 1 video. Now, through this video, I will tell some of the new applications like Adobe Dreamweaver, lots more into the lineup. Also, I will include Lightroom in my video also. So, let's begin. Now, the first app in my list is called Adobe Dreamweaver. Well, as the name suggests, this is not a Dreamweaver, it's a web designing application. Well, the main aspect of this application includes making HTML codes or editing and compiling these things. What makes Dreamweaver different from other HTML editors like Gedit and something like that is its visually designed. Well, you need to be a hardcore in HTML editing for working on this application, but still, it has a visual design that is authentic and very much augmented for a real life person. So I would suggest you to check this Adobe Dreamview if you plan to purchase this Adobe Suite, which is an ex exceptional application for a pro HTML design or a person who is in the compiling of web designing. Well, the next app in my list is called Adobe Moose. As the name suggests, Moose represents a dessert, but this app is not even a dessert. It's a pretty nat version of a uh, web designing well in which acts aspect does this app helps well it helps you to edit ed or design web web pages without using codes well th there are templates present in this app and you can easily use those to edit web pages the next set of products in my list is called adobe photoshop lightroom as the name suggests this is a lightroom actually it is used for color correcting your pictures well in photoshop you don't have some features that are present like some color correcting in an advanced manner but in this Lightroom it is possible so it's a very useful application if you own Photoshop and this app works side by side with Photoshop also so a very good application and it will be included in the suite the next app in my list is called Adobe Prelude as the name suggests Adobe Prelude is a video monitoring and a video recording application so that means you can monitor videos also as well as import videos in an additional screen and watch it. Very easy stuff, but I think this is intended truly for professionals. I don't want this app because I don't use any of these features, so it's for the professionals. Hashtag it's for the professionals. Screenwriting has become a lot easier on Adobe Creative Cloud. Now we have an application called Adobe Story Plus or Story. Well, in this application, they provide screenwriting methods and scri scripting. So you can install the scripting and read on the desktop, on the monitor, and then you are under control. The actors can look at it and read. Well, the news broadcasters use this feature a lot because they read in front of the screens to write. Now, I hope you understood that feature of this application. The next Adobe application is known as Adobe Media Encoder. What does Media Encoder do? Media Encoder actually transforms files into any format. That's a basic stuff that, that can be done with a handbrake and something like that. But what makes it different? Well, this can dynamically link between Premiere Pro and After Effects. Well, if you you can save some time by rendering only one time. So you, not need, you need not render in Premiere Pro once and After Effects and this join together the format twice. So you can avoid it. Very simple. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, in future, we will make another video on Adobe because Adobe is growing like a free train. In terms of free train means they are making building or, or making new new applications that are suitable for professionals. I'm using the Adobe Creative Speed. I'm using Premiere Pro and After Effects for video editing on this PC, as you can see right in the video. And, well, the consumer lineup or the customer reviews has been awesome for this product because they are dynamically linked between them. And if you think this video was helpful do click that like button and thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget to comment on this video because comments are the essential factors of each youtubers well your comments are our valuable disregards and your valuable suggestions for our videos so i hope you would subscribe me also because in future we will come back soon with another video if adobe products or the adobe 
team develops new new applications for that app. So that's it. I'm Sharad from Sharad Geek and you guys have a great day.